Hello everyone and welcome back to the forge. Now today we're going to be taking this rusty old engine head bolt right here and we're going to turn this bad boy into a scorpion. So let's go ahead and get the forge lit and let's get to work. Alright, let's flatten the head of this bolt out. Alright, this part that we flattened out here where the bolt head was, we'll come back in in a minute and we'll make a cut up through here and that will be what forms the scorpion's claws. But now we're going to turn our attention to the back end here and start forming what will become the scorpion's stinger. On this bolt, don't worry about if you do this, don't worry about removing the threads. Leave the threads because it will give the tail a really cool look. You'll see later on in the project. All right, it's going to work on forming a taper on the end of this bolt here. That'll be what we forge into the scorpion stinger. All right, now we're going to come in here. We're going to isolate this tip here and start narrowing down this end right here to form the tail of the scorpion. See that there on the hammerhead? That's going to be the part that forms a scorpion stinger. So we're going to move in now and we're going to start reducing the thickness of this right here to help draw that out and give it a natural flow. Now I'm going to go over to the bandsaw and we're going to cut up in here so we can form the claws. As you see me do with the other one, I'm just forming this claw over the horn of the anvil to give it its shape. Alright, there's our scorpion claws. We're going to come in here with a chisel. We're going to chisel right down there, spread them open, and we'll work these arms just a little bit. At this point right here, we've got the claws forged in, we've got the stinger started. We're going to come in here and, and widen out this body some, because scorpions don't have a little skinny, narrow body. And then we'll be prepared to start putting everything in its final place, shaping it, 
come in with a chisel. We're going to put some lines across the body as well. So let's get it back in there and get back to work. Let's finish forming the point on the tail and then we will pretty much be finished other than just sticking it in the position we want them to be in. There's our lines on his back. Now we just got to bend him to shape. A little more shaping, getting everything in line the best we can. Let's give our scorpion some eyes just because we can. Alright, scorpion's got eyes. I'm going to go ahead and get him warmed back up. We're going to get him in the oil and then we'll get him all cleaned up. Alright, there you go. A scorpion forged from an engine head bolt. I appreciate you joining us for today. Hopefully this video motivates you to go out, you know, and give it a go in your forge or your shop or whatever. Just go out and create something. It don't have to be something like this. Just, just go out and make something. You know, let your imagination run wild. If you would, hit that subscribe button. Uh, ring the bell for notifications so you're notified of our newest content. We appreciate you very much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.